Hey everybody and welcome to the demo of Underscore. Um, this one, it looks very nice, clean and stylized. This is, to the best of my knowledge, a, once again, uh, deck builder. It has some things here. Let's take a look at the settings, pretty basic here. Show remaining energy, no idea what this means yet. You use black screen transitions, also not quite sure yet. You have your volume here, you have a box you can check for windowed mode. That's okay. Then you have a database here. Let's quickly just go in there. You see, it doesn't say anything in here. It just is unavailable right now because I haven't actually played it yet. But here it says database, hostile fauna. Um, when I booted this up the first time and looked at this, I was like, neat. It's like a like a bestiary or something, you know, like a Pokedex. <laughs> so let's just start a new game here. Select a memory core to upload. Ah, I guess we have like different characters here. Paul Anders, the veteran pilot. Don't know whether it's small for you, but it's also pretty small for me. They could make these bigger somehow. Um, a race pod driver turned military pilot. Paul Anders joined the Federation Air Force immediately at the beginning of the second Grand Reconquista. Over 85 successful combat sorties. After the end of his military career, he resumed piloting various vehicles, including reconnaissance submarines, dropships, and power suits. Sounds cool. Notes. Prefers quick and direct conflict resolution. Considerable defensive and survival skill set. Exceptional energy optimization knowledge. Okay. If you say so, sounds good to me. Commencing consciousness reconstruction. Call of Paul Anders initialized. Dude, I, I like this. Okay. It's pretty immersive. I don't hear a lot of music here. Find the anomaly origin, remove anomaly cause, fulfill your purpose, or be erased. <laughs> okay, it's a little intimidating. Scan territory. Interesting. Let's see, surface cliffs. Is this like a level overview? Energy anomaly detected below planet surface. Investigate the crevice to the north. ETA 15 hours. Aggressive fauna detected. Suboptimal gravity for suit operation. Suit functionality impaired. Atmosphere consists of light, unbreathable gas. Who farted? Barren surface. Scarce floral presence. No external signals detected. Oh, sounds like a five star place on Yelp. Let's <laughs> just get in there. I'm trying to increase the volume a little bit here. But it's like very, very subtle. I don't know whether you can actually see my volume slider with the new software. Guess I have to check that out. Um, the planet is alien and unexplored. Scarce data provides basic and sometimes inadequate navigation. Every exploration you draw two exploration cards. Pick one to move towards your goal. Exploration cards with new events can be created through a research event. Okay. Safe passage or encounter. Give me the encounter, man. Medium difficulty. Okay, here we go. Tax tutorials, I kind of hate it, but they are not too long, it seems. The goal of every encounter is to eliminate all hostiles, preserving as much HP as possible. Your combat deck will help you achieve this. You suit as weapon, engine, and CPU energy to activate your cards. These energies reset to initial values at the start of your turn. Okay. Every combat card has three available effects respective to your energies oh all right so depending on which energy you use the cards is a different effect plus one weapon energy gain one power six damage what is power increases damage done by direct attacks so i think you should probably do like this when a card is used it will move to the discard pile discarded cards are reshuffled and put back into a draw queue at your turn start okay Cards with exhaust keywords are not discarded and will instead be removed until the end of the current encounter, alright? So you do this and this first, right? Because now you have two weapon energy and then you deal seven damage. And you can just do this twice, right? And you go like whoo boom. Okay, <laughs> sorry for the weird sound, but I, I like this. Like you drag it onto the enemy and then it goes blam. You see now what I mean by stylized? I mean, it's. Like the hit doesn't have the greatest impact. I could use just like a little of bit of screen shake just to show like something is going on. 
and something like, like a little more a little more kapow but it seems nice like i like the design it's somehow like very clean and smooth defending the opponent has shielded itself uh, his shield will be active until the next turn attacking him now is inefficient opponent's current intention is aggressive mitigate his attack by gaining shield okay the enemy intends to attack so you can't do any damage i guess what is, what does the shield thing do here the shield thing gains six shields plus one energy gain three shield then i should probably just skip this card right the energy is the blue one here what i would like would be i, I guess this is already blue here but you could also put the symbol in there but i don't also don't know whether it gets too clustered that way you do this and then you just gain six shield here you gain six shield here and then, i don't know man then you also do this hit him with your shield and gain some shield and then you end your turn with plus 15 shield on the shield carries over to the next turn apparently your deck contains a unique card scan it allows you to improve your combat deck or restore lost hp plan ahead and figure out what cards will help you most scan can be used once per encounter what can it do add a new count to battle deck restore 8 hp permanently remove any card from the deck interesting that it's like in the encounter then it tends to weaken you okay plus one energy these ones gain one power hmm okay let's do don't even know how much hp this guy has left 12 apparently uh let's do this one god damn I didn't pay any attention to that great <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> uh, skip me that was stupid uh, gain one weapon energy and then I, I guess i could get power and then deal eight damage like this would have liked to use scan there but <laughs> okay <laughs> That wasn't very smart. Why should I want to travel safely? Here's medium threat. It'll just bring me in there. Okay, now it's two guys. One of them shields, the other one attacks. If I gain six shield, that should be all right, right? All right. Then the little floater here has 15 HP. Um, let us get some weapon energy I'm gonna skip this I'm gonna oh, okay I cannot skip more than once all right live and learn as they say um then do this <laughs> do this again okay and then I'll end the turn Yeah, shield carries over that's right um add a new card to battle deck yeah let's just do it okay now i can choose toxic fumes conversion or recuperate recuperate yeah one cpu for every two different status effects on yourself we don't really have status effects convert skips to weapon energy okay interesting and then so this one instead of skipping like if we play this we can skip this turn but then bloop we get more energy like it doesn't matter which one actually um deal five damage for each different status effect on the target every enemy takes three damage for each different status effect there's so many status effect things here Gain okay, one weapon for each different status effect let's let's take the conversion here i think that seems good okay uh, then give me weapon energy 
and then yeah probably just hit this dude here and then we'll also gain six shield and uh, end our turn good so that worked this guy's gonna attack this guy's also gonna attack so we are weakened is that what what's happening here why are we only dealing four damage we are weak we use damage number 25 percent that's pretty severe man um can still just kill this dude. What does a shield do with the green thing again? Plus one energy energy. <laughs> okay, you hit this guy, it dies. Um, is the blue one energy energy? Yeah. Okay, so I think what I will do is... I will skip this one, say give me this, then gain 6 shield, and gain another 6 shield, and then you sit. Fantastic. Okay, um, maybe let's get energy energy as I like to say, and then we can do power. Increase damage done by direct attacks. Okay, direct attacks. I don't know what this means. Maybe it's like not ticks. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, let us do this. That seems pretty good. And then you deal five damage. Kablam. What does this thing do, by the way? Enemy intends to add a detrimental card to your deck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, do this. And then, yeah, hit me with the shield. And then that's my turn. Yeah, malfunction. Fantastic. Son of a gun. <laughs> um, what does malfunction do? Take two damage, remove this card permanently. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, deal just seven damage here. Give me one of these. Can't really do anything with this one. Gain one power, now nah, skip me. Give me the shield. Fantastic. You're filling us up with malfunctions. Great. Uh, so I have to use energy to use this, huh? I guess... Mm, let us do this one. Then I'll take one weapon energy for why I'm even doing this. Like, I don't know why I want the conversion so bad. Let's <laughs> just do this. We can just kill it. I don't know what I was thinking there. Probably not much. Database entry unlocked. Capricalia fl and Floater, okay. So you don't need to like scan them or anything, you just need to battle them. Permanently remove any battle card. Yeah. Let us remove... Don't we have another? Yeah, we have another malfunction. There we go. Remove that bitch. Rock slide. Lose 8 HP. Remove this card permanently. Just give me another encounter then. Seems like a pretty chill game so far. Um, Press. Still not really sure what the best thing to do with the shield is, to be honest. One of them is attacking. Dude, this little son of a bitch. <laughs> with frigging, like, detrimental card thing, man. Yeah, hit me with the skip. Gain six shield, sounds smart to me. Add a new card to the battle deck. Hallelujah. Um, deal 5 damage for each energy. Energy. Gain 5 shield for every weapon. Gain 1 weapon plus gain 1 energy. Plus. What does it mean? Weapon plus. Uh, ah, okay. You gain more next turn. Interesting. The cost though. Backup. 
move all skips and energy gain two weapon plus these don't cost anything flick minus two power remove enemy shield inflict free weak dude finally like something with detrimental status effects i like it sadly cannot cannot really skip here or anything and me here comes the malfunction <laughs> fantastic uh see so shield him up deal some damage to the son of a gun get one of these and shield me up and then yeah why wouldn't i just do this after all why wouldn't i just gain another shield what is this then the enemy intends to strengthen itself fantastic <laughs> okay here we go increases damage done by direct attacks uh just just wait a second what does the net shot but do I want you to remove enemy shield, inflict free weak? Probably green then. Do this son of a bitch. Um, here, take this one. Malfunction, fantastic. Uh, I think... Don't really want to use you. What is yours? Plus one weapon and GDA. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip this this turn. Give me one. Oh no, I also can't do this. Fantastic. Good good job, me. <laughs> Just exactly the wrong one there. Probably would have been a better order. Um, die. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit you with the gain six shield, gain weapon energy. Do this. Um, give me more weapon energy and then we can hit him again with this one. The conversion seems pretty good to be honest. Okay, it's gonna attack with four. That shouldn't be a problem, right? I mean, let's just do this. A little bit of shield. Do I wanna do this now? Like, give me energy then remove this this took from the shield right and not from my normal hp i think but well, i hope you can't hear my stomach rumbling and getting pretty hungry over here <laughs> it's probably time to eat soon hit it with this now oh, goddamn give me one of these give me a little bit of damage hit it with this one Convert to weapon energy. Dude, I love the conversion, man. That seems pretty good. Proceed. Don't know how long you have to go. Like, is there some save point you will reach? Uphill movement is hindered. Mm. See, it's just... Just do another encounter here. Seems pretty good. Nine... Well, hit you with this, and then gonna take a little bit of weapon energy, and then I hit you with the blast twice. I like that you have to drag it on them, it feels pretty good. Oh god damn, I could even like do this and hit you with another one. I love conversion, man, it's fucking fantastic, if you pardon my French. We don't draw scan that much, right? Or at least I feel like we don't. Um, let's do some damage here. Then you give me one energy energy. Give me a little shield. This guy wants to weaken me. Uh, and hit you with that skip. <laughs> and dude, why not more shield to be honest. Then we don't have any energy for scan anymore sadly. Gain less weapon energy next turn. Fantastic. Uh, restore 8 HP, that seems pretty good. Permanently remove any card from the deck. Ah, oh, goddamn, but what is the shield thing? Is plus one energy energy. I love to say this, by the way. Yeah, let's restore 8. 
do this, gain six shield, and then we still got like a net bonus, right? Like we healed like six, basically. And yeah, just give me one of these. And then why not gain one power? And then seven damage right there, just because I like it. Poof. <laughs> Love how they just crumble. Make shift fix, restore 11 HP and add two malfunction into combat deck. Process data to gain upgrades. Got my attention. Uh, okay, let's see, what do we have here? Repairs, we have 178 data. Activate an exploration probe, will take some time to return. Start encounter with increased rewards. Do all of these sound freaking sick. Deal 9 damage, gain 1 skip. Allows you to discard active card without using it. Interesting. Gain 1 CPU. Gain one CPU plus gain one skip, and this one deal five damage to all enemies and flick one vulnerable to all enemies. To this seems pretty good, man. Holy crap! Um, what do we have here? Gain additional sub module slot. I don't even know what that means. Every card granting shield will grant one more. That also seems pretty good. Extra skip. Holy bursh! Um, inflict free vulnerable to all enemies. To this card seems exceptional, actually. Gain 5 shield for each enemy? Yeah, you go into the deck. Start encounter with increased rewards. What does that mean? Well, we'll know soon, I guess. <laughs> Restore 18 HP, is that worth it? No, not really. This one is 65, we also can't get that. Well, let's get the probe then. Activate an exploration probe, will take some time to return. Okay, good one. A little bit of shopping. Okay, encounter or encounter. Tough choice. It's a flying sword. It's a sap fight. Okay, what do we have here? There is a scan. Um, I would like to get a new card. What else is something I like to get? If I add weapon energy. What is after these? There's shockwave. Hmm. Okay, let's get one more weapon energy. Hit me with the scan. Reprocess. Inflict 4 countdown minus 2 for every card in this card belt. Target takes damage in 2 turns. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I want to use this last. Cover. Gain 8 shield at 1 malfunction. Gain 5 shield. Gain 8 shield, suffer 1 skip minus. Why wouldn't you take this card? It seems pretty good. Game one double shot. Double current shield value, double current skills. Dude. But like this one is like zero energy. This is like my favorite playstyle. Man, just pile like a bunch of zero stuff on it. Okay, we have one energy energy, one weapon energy. Or actually engine energy, but I just love to say energy energy. In case you haven't noticed yet. Um, he moved the shield. Yeah, I think I want to do this. Five damage to all enemies, inflict one vulnerable to en uh, to all enemies. That seems good. And then also give me more shield. Does this vulnerable stay until my next turn or does it disappear? It disappears, okay. Learn something new today. Hmm... Not quite sure what the best thing is with this. Is this guy just gonna attack again? Yeah. I think I'll take an extra weapon energy here. Then you give me the shield. Okay, yeah, then I'll just hit you with this one. Increases damage done by direct attacks. Okay, yeah, so this this will actually negate it. <laughs> totally planned. Fantastic. Okay, now this time it shields. Interesting. 
give me a little bit of engine, I think. Oh no, actually, just skip this one. There we go, hard. Uh, deal 6 damage right here, I think. Kablam. Give me a little bit of power here. Do this. Why wouldn't I just be like, hey, you know what? I'll take the 5 free shield. Like, that seems amazing. And then I can do this, right? Wait, why didn't I increase this damage done? What did I just do? <laughs> Convert skips to weapon energy. Didn't I just choose this? Like, I should have gotten weapon energy, right? Like, am I... Losing my freaking mind. I got like power here. What did I do? Okay. Um, if you know, let me know. It's on the 26 minute mark. Okay, now this thing is gonna attack. Um, deal 6 damage to all enemies. Inflict 1 vulnerable. Inflict 3 vulnerable to all enemies. It's like a free turn vulnerable, right? Yeah. Do this. Gain a little more shield. And that was a short turn. But we blocked all the damage and it's still vulnerable. Bloop. Do this. Uh, gain weapon energy. Yes. <laughs> then you skip this one. And you hit him with another one of these. And it's done. Nice. Elite battle, high threat, high reward. Analyze battle, start encounter with increased rewards. Yeah, what is the better one? Let's try the elite battle actually. Some more HP Tetrian. The enemy will call for help. Fantastic. Um, flick it with some weak. I have no idea how much damage this guy will do. Short little turn, let's see what its help looks like. Oh, it's just a smaller... A Petian and this one is a Tetrian. I see, I thought this guy was this guy. I get it. Okay, uh, 15 damage incoming, that's not nice. Mm. Hmm... Do this. Also, I've decreased this guy's damage for 25%, right? <laughs> so, um, probably still want to get rid of this guy as fast as possible here. Whoops. Do this. Yeah, don't really get anything from this and then give me the sick shield here. And still won't block everything, but will at least block this guy's attack. Still take 6 damage here. Scan. Could restore some HP. What is the best thing for Shockwave? 5 shield for each enemy. Deal 5 damage to all enemies. Inflict 3 vulnerable to all enemies. It's a good question actually. Do they both attack? One weakens me and one attacks. Could even just skip that one to be honest. Um, I think I'll do the green one here. I think I'll skip the scan, funnily enough. Give me the vulnerable on all of them. Now I have one here left, one here left. Um, I'll take the shield, just... Well, the shield, and then... I'll do this, right? And then the cover is a freaking godsend. <laughs> I'll take this one. Then conversion, mm, baby. Uh, probably just do this. I can get a little bit more damage that way. Yeah, so why did this not work? I used conversion, right? Oh, con oh it converts the skips and I don't have skips. Okay, I get it. Okay, weapon energy minus, fantastic. Um, then I'm gonna... Do this. 
And then what do I do? Uh, skip this. Give me a weapon <laughs> energy. And then like... Do this. Fantastic. We did something. Okay. Um, this guy seems pretty tough. They weren't lying. I'll tell you that much. At least it doesn't seem to be calling for help again. Can't even do anything now. Oh fuck, it will call for help again. Shouldn't have said anything. And I'm giving me another weapon energy here. It has nine shields, son of a bitch. <laughs> that freaking hurts. Conversion? I think I want more weapon energy. Scan? Hmm. What else could I do? Cover? Do more damage? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna skip... Oh, I can't skip scan. Now that's interesting. Well... Then I'll restore some HP, I suppose. 5 damage to all enemies, vulnerable to all enemies. Yup. Cover for more shield. Yup. Then hit him with one of these here. Wasn't a bad turn. But this is gonna fucking suck. <laughs> this is three of these little bastards. Um. Let's see, one power? No, I don't think so. Give me the shield I can get. Because this is gonna hurt like a motherfucker, holy crap. Yup, down to 63. Okie dokie. Uh, give me one of these. One shield, probably, yeah. Do I want one of these? Yeah, I think so, because then I'm gonna hit this guy with 6 damage. And then I'm gonna shield up again. God knows I need it. <laughs> so now, you see, now I could skip this card, get to conversion. But I don't get anything from this. Convert skips and I don't have any skips. This guy's also shielding the heck up, but this guy really needs to go first. Okay, um, I think... We go full weapon here. Deal 6 damage. Bam. Just give me the free shield, fantastic. Do this. Um, this one gives weapon energy too. Oh no, I don't. I can't do this, huh? Gain one power, yeah. But then what am I gonna do with this one power? Well, this is gonna hurt too. Just eat it. I chose this. Now I have to live with the consequences. Um, yeah. Just manufacture one weapon energy, please, so I can actually do something. And then I'm gonna hit this with this. Uh, this one is a skip, and then a shield up. Okay, big guy is gone. Now we can focus on the small guys. And nobody attacks this turn. And I have like four shields, fantastic. Hit this guy as long as I still can, you know. I could skip this one, then I would be on the next <laughs> shield. <laughs> like, do this. Do this, I think. What is the green from this one? This one is weapon energy, right? Yeah, so... Well, no matter what I do, I can't really, like, do anything very productive, right? Yeah, and then I end on, like, one power. Game one power. Oh, look, there's conversion. <laughs> if cover would just be, like, one further up, I could have done something useful. Okay, engine energy minus. Oh, look, shockwave. That's fantastic. I like it. Uh, cover, gain fire shield, yes. Gain weapon energy. You said it, and then um, I guess we'll attack this one because it's not shielded. The 10 damage is very nice. Okay, it's doing another 10 damage to me. Son of a gun. Hit me with the extra weapon energy here, and then I'll do some damage there, and then. 
Yep. Okay. <laughs> Didn't have any weapon energy to begin with, apparently. Okay, so anybody attacking here, nine. Um, do this. Give me one of these. Convert skips into weapon. Give me another one of these. Gain free shield, deal four damage. Deal seven damage. It's incredible how long this takes. Oh yeah, I can also use this one, fantastic. All according to plan. Yep, this really feels like an elite battle. Uh, I am gonna do five shield for each enemy. Give me one weapon energy. Say goodbye. Okay, we're getting through this. But you know at what cost. Um, gain six shields. One weapon. Hit him with this one. Done. Item refresh. Makes all submodules sub -modules usable again. I don't even know what a submodule is to be honest. Probe, activate an exploration probe. Yeah. Time left six. Time to reach a destination. Ah, I didn't even see this before. Explore deck. Game settings. Well, medium threat. <laughs> what a nice change of pace, huh? It's an adult floater. Ignore next taken damage. It has five of these? What the fuck? <laughs> Invulnerable, okay. Remove enemy shield. Inflict minus two power. Reduce damage done with 25%. If I do... Which one is better, actually? Hmm. I think I'll do this one. On this guy. Then deal 6 damage. I'll attack the normal floater. Then I'll use a little bit of cover. And then I'll... I should shield up right here. Do this and shield up. It's gonna be a little bit of a defensive one. And I can restore 8 HP or... Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Every little bit of HP counts here, man. Mm, is Shockwave better here? 5 damage to all enemies. Yeah, well, the one has invulnerable still, right? Ignore next, take damage. Oh, it doesn't tick down when I don't attack it too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, yeah, then I'll do this. Um. Okay, yeah. Great, now you, <laughs> you only have four invulnerable left. Fantastic. Um, should probably do gain one power and kill that floater outright. And then we just, we just chill here. Yeah, that's five times one damage, fantastic. Two times four. Plus one weapon energy. The thing is, I need to do damage, right? So I'll just do this. Then I'll do this. Then I'll gain the shield. Then I'll skip this. Seems nice. Okay. Then... What will I do? Give me some weapon energy, I think. Thinking long and hard. Um, I could totally weapon rush this guy and reduce all the, the invulnerability stuff. Doesn't seem like the worst thing. We shield a little bit at least and then we do this. Had a nice build up of weapon energy there. 
Okay. Well, the, the shockwave is nice. Six damage. Don't know why I, I can't. No, there we go. Then I'll do... Give me one of these. Gain the shield. Gain the shield. Give me all the shield, man. <laughs> Just bulk up. Okay, fantastic. I know the commentary is great, probably. Um, this one does 11 damage. Not a big fan, so we'll take a little bit of a shield. Give me another weapon point, basically. Oh yeah, and then this thing has no HP, basically. Here we go. Not bad. Could have gone worse. Start encounter with increased rewards. Don't mind if I do. It's a Galcus. It's a little bit like a castle from one sound. The enemy intends to attack and inflict a status effect. Lucky me. <laughs> um, net shot. Remove enemy shield and flick free weak would be nice. That could work if I just played like this. You hit him once. And do a little bit of shielding. You inflict free weak on the man. The shockwave is unusable. End. Uh, hook. Retaliation. After taking damage, deal equal damage back to the attacker. Great. Give me a new card, man. Okay. Deal 6 damage and flick 6. Countdown 2. Interesting. So another skip thing. It's a conversion we already have. There's one bulk up. Plus 2 energy. Gain 2 reflex. Plus two energy. Okay, <laughs> this one is really just like pump you full of blue energy. Don't know how useful this is. This one is interesting. Deal one damage, inflict 12, count down two. Yeah, I'll take the shock emitter. That seems pretty interesting. Okay, give me weapon energy. Now I have one weapon energy. Um, we skip, we power plus one, and then we just do this. And then here, yeah, I can't really do anything there. I guess you can click it if you want to. Brittle. Reduce gain shield by 25%. Okay, that sucks. Mm, I'm gonna do this. You can still shield through this. If you want to, then I'm just gonna hit you with this one. Then I'm just gonna flip you off and do another shield. <laughs> Out of sheer protest there. Shockwave. Gain five shields. Probably. I took four there. Deal 2 damage, inflict 12, countdown 2. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty pretty close to getting freaking smacked here. But so is this guy. Um, after taking damage, deal equal amount back to the attacker. I don't like it very much. Uh... What do I do here? Weapon energy? Convert me? Into shields? Or I, or I mean engine energy, but you know what I mean? Energy up? Gain one power? Yeah? <laughs> This is horrible, man. Probably could have played that smarter and actually, you know, like, done something somehow more useful. Spikes? Okay, yeah, good. The, the countdown thing kicked in. Oh, damn. Or we're just, like, crawling. Process data to gain upgrades. Yes. <laughs> Reload. Gain free skips. Holy burst. 
Does the shotgun with the thing again? Restock. Submodule. We don't have the heal thing here you now. Volatile cover. Attacking enemies will suffer damage. Elite battle. Analyze battle. There's no heal here, isn't there? Every card granting shield will grant one more. There's no heal, okay. What do we do then? Um, volatile cover, next three encounters you start with four spikes. I guess. Gain three skips, yep. Um, and that's pretty much all we can do. I mean, there's something with increased rewards, why wouldn't we do it, right? Don't really see why we would hold on to this. You notice your probe drone floating in the distance. You come up to it, but it does not react. Upon close inspection, you realize that a sharp fang is stuck in one of its propellers, inhibiting the movement. You carefully pull out the fang and the probe quickly reactivates, flooding your system with invaluable data. More tactical and biological data helps you formulate potential actions for the future challenges. The AI prepares a new tactical template for combat encounters. Press double plus, deal 9 damage. Uh, okay. Gain 2 power, suffer 1 power fatigue. Interesting, okay, yeah, I mean, accept. Makeshift fix, restore 11 HP, add 2 malfunction to combat deck, yep. Um, elite battle or rock slide? I'll take the rock slide. Permanently remove any battle card or encounter. I think I don't even want an encounter right now. I can just remove a malfunction like this. Danger, extreme threat. Just in time. <laughs> it's a campier. Gain power each time you skip a card. It does 12 damage to start with. Great. Let's, let's just power up, man. Okay. Then we could gain one weapon energy. Seems like a good deal. Oh, this was the press plus plus, wasn't it? Okay. Um, then I'm just gonna deal 5 damage here, make you a little brittle, and then deal 6 damage. No, deal 9 damage. Ah, it, okay, it only shows the calculation after you pull it on an enemy. Interesting. Only noticed that just now. End the turn. Okay, what you got this time? The enemy intends to defend and inflict a status effect. Reload is... you gain free skips no matter what. What is the smartest thing for you to use for me here then? Um, I want to deal damage. This one is also really good. Uh, uh, deal 6 damage, inflict 6, countdown 2. I think I do this, gain free skips, heck yeah, and then we just, is this a better play? Well, let's do this, and then we do this one, deal 1 damage, inflict 12, count down 2, cover, gain 5 shield, I think that doesn't even matter to be honest. Because it doesn't attack, right? And then just end the turn. Okay, what do we have here? Brittle. Reduce gain shield. Fantastic. It does 15 damage now. <laughs> it's a great timing, man. Um, the heal from this one is 8 HP. Well, I would really like some shield. Like this, we would still take... 11 damage. I don't like that. Um, I think we do this. 
as weird as it seems. Then we hit with this one. We gain weapon energy. I hit you with a skip. I don't keep the skip I got from reload. That sucks. Okay, these don't carry over. Should probably have paid attention to that. But live and learn as they say. Okay, now we'll just eat 16 damage from this guy. It will call for help. <laughs> I hate when they do this. Uh, son of a bitch. Remove enemy shield, inflict free weak. That seems pretty good. Um, then I'll gain the power. Hitcher. Inflict the weak. End the turn. It's one of these little guys again. Man, PTSD kicks in. Oh god. The enemy intends to attack and inflict a status effect. Yeah, seems like it. <laughs> Shockwave. Again, 5 shield for each enemy. That would be pretty good, actually. I need to shield 12, right? Do this. Do this. Oh yeah, I still have Brittle, huh? Um, convert my skips. I could get one weapon energy too. And then deal damage. So what if I hit with the refresh? Make all use sub modules usable again. What the heck is a sub module? I have no idea. <laughs> Submodules. Oh, my only submodule is the one that makes submodules usable again. Good one. Okay. Well, so this guy shields, this guy attacks, but I shield. Now this guy shields, and this one makes me weak. Deal 2 damage, inflict 12 countdown. 7 damage, inflict 6, countdown 2. Yeah, I think I'll do this one, right? Blam. And then, I don't really need shields right now. I could skip you with this one. Then gain free skips. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, you do this one. Well, I might as well do this. Then this one I don't really need right now, right? What is my goal here? Do I have no idea? Um, gain free skips. Gain one weapon energy. I could gain a shield, but I don't really need it, right? We skip one, two, three, and then we can at least hit him with another press. Like, this is the only thing I could think of, basically. Uh, you have invulnerable now for the next three attacks, apparently. That's great. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, okay. Hmm. I need the weapon energy. So I'll do this. I have to hit you. Um, then I'll gain the shield. See, I only have one skip, right? So I need the weapon energy here. You, I won't deal any damage through like this. I don't know whether I should attack the small guy. I think it's not really like the best thing to do. Well, but you killed me. Okay, danger suit critically damaged. The structure imminent if you end this turn. Win the encounter this turn to survive and recover some HP. Okay, just need to win the encounter. Just need to kill all of them. A little spoiler, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, gain energy, gain shield. Just hit him with this one. 
gain two power, suffer power fatigue. Not even really worth that. <laughs> Game free skips, fantastic, just what I need. Now I can skip three of my cards. <laughs> and then end my turn and die. Okay, but we actually made it to the boss without really knowing how to play the game. I think that's not too bad. It's over. Yeah. Words to live by. <laughs> um, not bad. Interesting game. Could use a little more oomph. Like it feels... I, I like the like very chill vibe. But like the comment animation stuff. Like I feel like it should be more like bam. You know like something there to like really get... Not the adrenaline throwing. But like you know just like get some endorphins injected into your brain basically. That's my only suggestion so far. And I'm not really clear what about like what sub modules are apart from that seems pretty cool man like i like the enemy design and it seems like it's so clean somehow it's hard to describe like it has like a certain unique style to it and i think it's great um for now i hope you liked underscore or the underscore i should probably say uh, the demo is still available as far as i know so go and try it yourself um, don't forget to wishlist it as well. It helps a lot with visibility and, you know, getting the word out there. And for now, I'm just gonna say thank you very much for watching. Have a good one, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.